Hello everyone and welcome to Stitching Ain't Easy. My name is Ashley. Thank you so very much for joining me today. If you guys have been here before, hello again. If you're new, why hello and thank you for clicking on this and taking a chance. I appreciate it. Okay, so today is the day. <laughs> Finally, y'all. The dress. Um, the infamous dress that I continue discussing have yet to share with you. My apologies. Now that it is almost fall, my summer dress, everybody. I know. Okay, so this is a dress. It's the Pene mm -hmm. No, it's not. It's the Penelope dress by Sorella. I obviously will link it below. Please check it out. Very fun pattern. Very easy to follow. Um, once you get past like the yoke and kind of where you would stitch the sleeves, you just work in the round and double crochet. Um, okay. I changed it a smidge. Um, there should be I had my sweet wonderful husband. Thank you so much, honey. Okay. Um, I had him take pictures and whenever it's funny because the videos and whatever they're kind of probably awkward I thought he was taking pictures and he was videoing and like thought he was videoing and he was taking pictures so I'm just like well oh, whatever but it's fine anyway <laughs> so the real me right so anyway okay I'm pretty real on here I don't know <laughs> how much let's be honest pretty real okay so anyway yes um the dress. <laughs> I changed it a smidge because, you know, I don't know, I just did. Um, hers is teal and a row of hot pink and then it's continues to be teal until you get to the bottom and then it's hot pink and then it goes back to teal. Um, I started mine. Mine is all hipster cotton and then the chameleon yarn the premiere both of them are premiere um this is the hipster cotton this right here and the color is summer splash so i did to here and like just the yoke of it basically and then this is all the chameleon yarn this is the one that changes white to purple and then i went back to the hipster for this part i suppose just to stand up um back to the hipster for all of this got just below my waist did the chameleon yarn until the bottom I have sweatpants on just so everybody knows anyway and the bottom of it then is all the hipster yarn so um yes so it finishes off like I said in the hipster I like it a whole lot the chameleon yarn definitely works um, it's very neat how it changes from the white to like a really pale lavender, but it's very pretty. Um, so for this dress, she suggests that you size up. I sized up two sizes, um, just because I know I wanted it to be like comfy and stuff because I like comfy things. I mean, who doesn't, right? <laughs> so anyway, so yeah, I sized up two sizes just for like safety and just in case, you know. Um, she also has you go back afterwards and you make like a cap sleeve because, sorry, hair in my mouth. It's my own hair. It's okay. Um, <laughs> anyway, but she has you make a cap sleeve, but because I made mine two sizes bigger, I kind of already had like this sleeve. I kind of wish... And I probably will eventually go back and just kind of fix it and make them a little bit longer. Um, I just went back and stitched underneath together until it was like, well, it looks like a sleeve. You know, real specific instructions. I'm sorry about that. Once again, that's why there's a pattern, but kind of didn't follow it exactly. I thought once about making, the reason I didn't put the sleeve on at the time is because I wanted to make this a long sleeve or at least like, you know, maybe three quarter length sleeve thing and dress and um, 
also make the length quite a bit longer. Um, <coughs> if you'll notice in the video clip, it's longer in the back. It's not like that. I. <laughs> anyway, we were at the creek. The dress was wet, so therefore it was longer in the back. Whatever. It's not like that. It's, you know, it symmetrical I guess I don't know it's even it's fine everything works out so we went the other day and see now the hipster which I guess I said this the same whenever we bought it last time um I did a Michael's haul the other day with my Halloween goodies and they both do this is limited time only so so I really kind of wanted to make it longer but um and whenever we went to Michael's, just the other day, to me, anyway, um, you may be watching this, maybe you haven't watched the other one, and you're like, well, what are you talking about? The wild world of YouTube, am I right? <laughs> so anyway, to me, just the other day, whenever we went to Michael's, they had the hipster cotton on sale for $3.99. And I was really hoping that they had this colorway, and of course, did not. Um, that's whenever I got these up here, the rainbow roller skates, which I love the name, by the way. I love both of those things, rainbows and roller skates. Anyway, and so I'm thinking of maybe making something with that, but it's still not going to be like even one more I don't feel like is long enough. But I do have two, I guess I should probably tell you guys that before I even do that. I'm sorry. I had <clears throat> three. Yes, three <laughs> of these, the hipster cotton. And I had two of the chameleon, the white to purple yarn. I used all three of these. I have just a tiny little smidge left that I couldn't go around anymore. And I used one and a half of the chameleon yarn. So, as you've probably seen in the clip, or at least the thumbnail, I suppose, at this point, I like it. It's like perfect as is. Don't get me wrong. Um, I, you know, I could just wear it like this, but my original thought was just for it to be longer, just because I know that I'll wear it more if it has long sleeves and it's longer in length, just because I'm cold natured and I just, I know this about myself. So I have, so this is a summer splash, the one that I used, which is beautiful, by the way. These greens and purples and blues. Isn't it lovely? And then they have the colorway Hello Hydrangea. So Hello Hydrangea just so happens. Look at all these purples and blues and greens. Mm -hmm. Mm. So <clears throat> I still have half to three quarters ish, probably more like half, of the skein of the chameleon yarn. So my thought is do just like a row or two on each, like the sleeve, like one probably on the sleeve, two probably at the bottom of the dress, and then put these in to make the sleeves longer and the dress longer. Yay. So that's the idea. So I think that'll be really, really pretty. You guys can see it. This is an awkward angle once again. I don't have any of it left, so it's kind of just what it is. And it doesn't really matter, but at the same time it does. Welcome to stitching ain't easy. I do that a lot. It doesn't make sense, but doesn't it though? You know? So, okay. Anyway, yes, that is the plan. So I will link this dress below. Like I said, um, you've, I guess, seen what it looks like, or you're getting ready to see what it looks like. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Um, I very much so love the dress. I just personally think that I would wear it a lot more often if, you know. So anyway, so yeah, once again, per usual, it's a finished object, but is it? So we'll see. All right, cool. <laughs> So thank you guys so very much for watching.
finally bringing it to you and showing you what it looks like. Um, once again, very easy pattern to follow, very fun pattern, I thought, because like I said, once you get to a certain point, you just kind of go with the flow and, it's, you know, just double crochet in the round until you're like, yep, that's how long I want it, or until you're like, yep, I don't have any more yarn, that's as far as I can go. So, whichever comes first. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's perfect for that. So once again, the pattern will be linked below. Um, I suppose I can find the yarn and link it below. That'd probably be helpful, just in case. I mean, you can make it with anything. She uses perhaps King Cole. I'm not sure what she uses. He was a merry old soul. I didn't know if y'all knew that or not. Merry old, merry old soul was he. Um, anyway, I didn't know if you guys knew. I thought I'd let you know. Now you know. Now the word's out cats out of the bag okay so anyway but I will link that below um or this yarn below so I'm pretty sure she uses cotton of some sort I don't know she maybe uses acrylic I'm not really sure you can you know what you can make it out of whatever you wanted to so it doesn't really matter you can you make it out of burnout blanket if you wanted to and just be really really warm whatever you know so anyway but yeah I don't know what she makes it out of I made it out of cotton um, I am probably, aka, going to make another one or, you know, eight. Um, but I want to definitely make one out of acrylic and just see how it goes. So, you know, I know it's, why not? Just, why not? So, all right. Anyway, <laughs> thank you guys so very much for watching and for listening to all of the ramblings. I guess opinions wanted. How's that? Why not? Yes? No. What do we think? Okay. So have a wonderfully blessed day and I will talk to you all soon.